Happy Sabbath praise family. I just wanted to spend a brief moment with you this evening. I'm Tamara Richards bringing to you Friday's edition of Highest Praise Chronicles. And the title of our little chat is Pray Believing. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being with us this week. We thank you for taking care of us. We thank you because you have made the way for us to approach your throne boldly to give you praise to tell you of our needs thank you for this opportunity in Jesus' name we pray amen pray believing is the title of friday's edition of high praise chronicles and I just thought I'd share that with you because earlier today I saw one of my friends um, share a post on Facebook which was of a very popular or prominent religious speaker who was offering a prayer package for some at, at a cost and it led me to think of how free God's mercies are and that we don't have to do anything special to come to him we can come as we are because his grace is sufficient for us it doesn't mean that we won't be transformed and we won't you know have to follow his his bidding and his guidance but there's no special um, protocol that we have to follow to come to Christ we don't have to jump over a broom climb under a hedge or anything simply says come unto me all ye who are burdened and are heavy laden then I will give you rest we don't have to pay a fee for coming to Christ we don't have to pay a fee for talking to God you know there is the popular Lord's Prayer that teaches us how to pray as long as we have a sincere heart God knows everything he knows our thoughts he knows our makeup he knows what we need so even when we're praying you know it's not to tell God what we need, but to demonstrate that we trust that he's a friend and that we trust him with our circumstances. And so, again, there's not any special protocol that we need to follow. There's not a cost. There's not a procedure, a formula for God to answer our prayers let's come to him with a sincere heart you know acknowledging that the kingdom on earth and in heaven are his our father who art in heaven acknowledging that he's holy hallowed be thy name acknowledging that he rules the kingdom thy kingdom come on no, I'm forgetting the Lord's prayer. Isn't that embarrassing? But acknowledging that God is alive and that he's well and that we can come to him with all our thoughts, with all our requests, praying, believing. Believing that because he's God, he hears us and he will not grant us everything, you know, or he, he may not necessarily grant what we ask in the time frames that we have set up for him to answer, but he always answers and he knows best. So let us pray believing. Bow your heads as I say for us the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name, Matthew 5, verses 16 onwards, tells us how we ought to pray. Let us pray believing. Thank you for tuning in for Friday's edition of Highest Praise Chronicles. Our Father, who is in heaven, hears, and we don't have to pay fees to gain access to him. We don't have to perform a, miracle, a, a, a ritual to gain access to him. Have a wonderful Sabbath. This has been Friday's edition of Highest Praise Chronicles. Have a good and blessed Sabbath.